Oh man, so three of our favorites, Matic, Polkadot, and Chainlink are moving to the upside today as all coins start to pick up some speed and Bitcoin dominance starts to fall, which shows that as Bitcoin is stabilizing somewhat and creating a double bottom, people are starting to get bullish again and starting to move into all coins, which is very interesting. And we're going to continue to analyze that. But first, let's take a look at what is going on because we've got Matic up 7.8% right now. And a lot of people said Matic has been a bit of a laggard and indeed it has taken its time. But are we getting the U-turn now, which I mentioned in my last video could send us to new all-time highs, uh, but firstly on its way, hit our price target of $2.50. Well, as you can see, we were forming this massive cup and handle pattern. We broke to the upside and then when Bitcoin crashed, we came through and lost our neckline. Now, you remember I said we have downside risk all the way up to this white trend line, which has been acting as support for a long period of time throughout this cup and handle pattern. But it seems as though we're getting some reversal in this period right now. And if I zoom in, you can see that we're managing to pick up some support around this area and head to the upside. If I bring out the VPVR as well, you can see some solid volume does come in at this point, uh, which indicates that there is buying pressure here to help us move to the upside. So this is acting as a good level of resistance and uh, support for us. And hopefully Matic can continue, as my diagram shows from previously, to the upside. All looking really good. You guys know from a fundamental perspective, I'm super bullish Matic. Everybody keeps saying, oh, but EVE 2.0 is coming out and, and it's going to kill everything. No, it, everybody is thinking too minimalistically, right? Even if ETH 2.0 is perfect, which it's not going to be. And by the way, I bet it's going to be delayed as well. And I love ETH, but I still have to be honest. Layer 2 solutions and other good Layer 1 solutions are going to be in high demand, right? We've, we've not got anywhere near mass adoption on blockchain technologies and Layer 1 solutions. So imagine when people really start to cotton on and want to do real transactions on these platforms. Right now, ETH is unusable. Solana is usable. Phantom is usable. And these platforms are really starting to grow with new technology. Technology. And things like Matic are going to be really important as a layer two technology, along with things like Loopring, to really help propagate usage and get people using these platforms. So it's really important. And anybody sleeping on Matic is making a big mistake. You guys know this is a long term hold for me. And it's doing pretty well right now. I know it's been lagging for a while, but it's really curling off nicely and setting up for the upside. Now, of course, as with any of these three coins, which we're going, to, we're going to discuss in this video, if Bitcoin corrects a bit more to the downside, we can see some more downside in altcoins. Okay, even though Bitcoin dominance is going down, we have to be very cognizant of that. I can show you Bitcoin right now is creating this dub, uh, double bottom pattern on the four hourly, which suggests we could break to the upside. When you see a W pattern like this, normally you suggest a break to the upside and that could break us out of the bigger uh, yellow pattern downward trend, which we've been on on Bitcoin and can suggest we, we head higher to the upside. So that's something I do want to watch out for on Bitcoin, but I cannot help but realize and understand that we still have downside risk. If I show you on Bitcoin all the way, let me bring this over all the way down to this white trend line, okay? And this white trend line is sitting at 54,298. So anywhere around this level, 54, 53, I do have to accept that on the daily chart that we're still in a downward trend until we clear that yellow line, which I showed you on the four hourly, okay? So that's your uh, Bitcoin update and what that means for the altcoins, but let's take a look at Polkadot. Uh, let's find good old Polkadot. There we go. And what we can see on Polkadot is if we head into the four hourly, we can, oh, let's go uh, to the daily and uh, let's turn off our VPVR. There we go. And what you can see now is I'm getting a little bit more confident now that we're getting this bounce off this bottom trend line. Okay, just like we said for the other coins, we have this long term trend line. Once we, we broke down, you can see the good thing with Polkadot is we've not lost our neckline. Very important. From our cup and handle pattern, we had our neckline sitting right here that was our neckline this line here at 37.77 we've not fallen below our neckline we wicked here below on this candle here but we haven't fallen and this trend line has come to support it at the right time without losing the neckline so this is setting up for a good move on polka dot and you guys know my longer term price target sits at the fibonacci level of 74.14 on polka dot so looking still good on polka dot another six percent up to date on polka dot which is fantastic chain link finally just to wrap this off guys i've got a complete sore throat and drained i've managed to catch a bit of a cold uh, but as always i'm dedicated to bringing you these updates so if you appreciate that guys smash up the like subscribe don't forget to join the channel if you want to support the channel you've got the pink comment as the link to our free public discord do all those things uh, and we'll carry on with this chaining chart with this chaining chart we're seeing that we're up today 
ever so slightly, but more importantly, you can see now is crunch time for Chainlink. We're coming right up to, again, this long-term support line, and you can see the candles are fighting. The bulls and the bears are fighting. Let's look at the VPVR. Very important support level for us. There's a lot of volume trading here. If we lose that level, we could be heading to the downside, but if we can win it, that is good because we now got clear skies to run to the upside. Very critical level. We will be watching this over the next couple of days just to make sure we get a good bounce. Yes, we've had a good green candle today, but it doesn't make up for the losses yesterday because yesterday was a big red candle, as you can see. Uh, if we switch to a four hourly, let's take a look. What can we see? And you can see that here, we're, hopefully we can create somewhat of a double bottom uh, before heading back higher to the upside. But I will watch out for some downside risk on Chainlink. Now, you guys know from the cup and handle pattern uh, what my price target is sitting at all the way here at 56.44, but more importantly from my Fibonacci, the golden ratio is sitting at 77.45. So those are my longer term price targets for Chainlink. Anybody who's been watching this channel for a long time, you know all three of these projects are long term hold for me. These are solid. They've been tested during bull and bear markets. They know what they're doing. They're good, good projects. And I think, you know, yes, they're not attractive to people who are looking for massive pumps and looking for deep gen coins but if you're new to crypto you're looking to build out a sustainable portfolio which you can dollar cost average into and build wealth over the long time you cannot go wrong with some of these projects hope you guys enjoyed this video as always if you appreciate it appreciate it smash up the like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one